Hey, what's up, guys? Well, I'm back here, and today we're gonna be playing some Relic Demon Hunter. Uh, we played this deck, I'd like to say, like a month ago or so, and we had a oh, I had a lot of fun playing the deck, so I wanted to play it again. Um, I'm trying to play through all the classes, uh, so Demon Hunter is the obvious next one. I know a couple weeks ago, like a week or so ago, I was gonna do a stream last weekend. I just wanted to say I'm sorry for not doing that. I've been really busy the last two weekends. A lot of shit came up that I didn't was not aware was going to be happening. So, yeah. I'm still busy this weekend. Um, I'm going to try to do it soon. I just don't know if I will have a chance anytime soon to actually do the Hunter uh, stream. But anyways, look forward to that. I will announce it on Twitter and whatnot when I do. So follow me there if you want to have updates. Anyways, though, with that being said, uh, how about we just keep the first game and let's see how it goes. Okay, right, yeah, I'll see you guys all in the first one. All right. So, first matchup, Rogue. Um, I have a feeling this is aggro. So this is like really, really awkward. Do I keep the Blood Mage? I'm gonna keep the Blood Mage just in case. It, it has the potential of doing some good shit. So, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna try it. Uh, yeah. All right, let's see how this goes. Okay, let's start with this. This is a pretty nice uh, draw. I can do this into this. That's Edwin. Yeah, Edwin or Pillager. Interesting Pally. That's actually not too bad of a draw here. That's also not too bad of a draw. It becomes a really good draw if I draw um, Denathrius, actually. Denathrius would be stupid broken here. Unless it's Pillager, in which case I'm probably just dead anyways. So that we can pretend it's not Pillager and then we don't have to worry about it. And then not cry about the fact we mulled our Theo. I wish I had my Theo back. Uh, that's not ideal. Theo would be an insane draw here. Create a mini board. <laughs> uh, but no, yeah, I would really like to see a CO top deck here. I know the odds of it are very, very low, but there's still odds, technically. Am I dead? No, it's... He drew that three times. Is that Edwin as well? Alright, let's hope for a miss on Edwin... Weapon and location. Guess we just have to hope for all of those. There's no way he missed. I guess, well, no, he can't play Edwin anymore. He's one mana off being able to play Edwin. Did he hit location? No. Thank God. Um. Hmm. I guess we just do this here. Stop there. The reason we do this play is next to we have uh, Curtis. Which is not the worst. Or depending what he does, we also have... Like, if he does that, we have... Um, expendable performers. But again, we want to play that while having drawn Theo. Or Sire, sorry, not Theo. Wrong card. Um, we have a board full of one ones here. Hmm, there's some four threes here. I have a plan. I have a plan. I can't do it quite next turn because I have to use the coin here. But 
this plus this plus this is pretty solid. If he doesn't go off this turn, I have Lothab to delay him one turn, which is even nicer. Oh no, he's going off. Um... Hopefully he misses on some spells, like that would be a deal. It's looking like he hit, which kind of sucks. Sorry if you hear my brother screaming. It's very annoying when he does that. Um, You know, there was like a whole sequence of draws that would have been really, really good here. He sadly missed on all of them. Although the Sire top deck is also really fucking good. Oh, we're in such a bad position, it's not even funny. Our position is awful right now. Maybe we could talk to a second Circus Performer. So we're one mana off being able to do the insane play with... Um... This guy. I guess I can go for this. If I can... Hmm. Alright. Now we have double sire. That should help a substantial amount, but I'm hoping that he can't necessarily. Bro, he's already played two of those. Please don't have like wind fear or something. Hmm. That's really bad. Maybe he's gonna trade Edwin into the five three. I guess I can hope for that. I don't have... Hmm. He's not going for it. Fuck me. I got too greedy and I lost because of it. Hmm. Unless this is lethal. I don't know if this is lethal at all, but I can hope. I think it is beautiful. The Xaxes are slightly over Xaxes. Uh, easy game. Not even close. Being greedy there was 1,000% the, the right play. I knew he was going to go. He couldn't resist the early Ed. Well, not even really early Edwin. But he couldn't resist the big Edwin. So I'm able to get through all that damage. But no, that play last turn was basically... If I have two more turns, I can just play Circus Performance next turn and then do uh, Coin Sire into Sire. First Sire gaining back on my health and wiping his board. Second Sire wiping his board again and killing him most likely. Um... But that was the whole plan there, but also it just gave me lethal the next turn. My opponent is mad though. Anyways, uh, with that being said, let's skip the next one. Alright. Um... That is not what I wanted to click. Whoops, well... Anyways, I guess we'll see how this goes, I guess. Um, that's unfortunate. I don't feel this matchup is going to be really fucking hard unless I top deck Sire fairly early on. Um, I'll probably play this on two, just to have an extra piece of card draw. That's not a Sire. 
again, Cyrus is just like by far the best draw in my deck. Just because Cyrus does this thing where it just gives me a super insane late game bomb that just wins me the game. Right? Like that's how I see Sire. Um, so it'd be really, really nice to draw here. I want to play this, but also I like lose like I guess this is what I have to not be too worried about is I lose a Sire trigger here. Which I don't think I could be that mad about, and I think I just have to accept it. So yeah. Um really? Uh that's so bad for me. Actually really, really bad. Deal with this. Uh These are all awful. I guess it's just Blade Nance. So it has the highest potential of doing something with my hero power. I was hoping for any form of card draw, really. Just anything that draws me a card makes me happy there. Um, I have to remember what Blade Nance does. Deal one damage to a random enemy minion twice. I guess I can do this here. It's not the end of the world. I know I lose out, I guess, on three damage, t potentially, but doing that means that, one, I save my hero power, two, it's just a little bit of, it's, it's, it's extra advancement, extra minion on board, whatnot, so it should be fine. We're looking for Relic of Dimensions. Um, oh, maybe I was asked me to play some Battlegrounds. I'll do that after I'm done recording. Um, let's do this into this. Uh... I'm just going to respond to him. Oh, well, I forgot that it shows it there if I'm in Hearthstone. Okay. Um, That's fine. I can beat that. Uh, uh, my hand is so fucking bad here. I just need to find... Again, if I hit Relic of Dimensions, um, I should be fine because that's drop or reduce their cost by two and then oh. please miss on or he hit curtis that was so fast he had to pit curtis unfortunate Ooh, though that that is a big draw here huge draw Not ideal, but I guess it's something. Those were a whole bunch of jank. Like there was way better cards I could have hit, and I could have hit. That just sucks that those are that bad. Um, we got ideally we were, we were looking for Xylag, we were looking for Zixor, we we're looking for Sire. Anything really that gave us a little bit of tempo. Hitting double dirty red is not good. Uh, I would have even been happy with like a second school teacher or even just more relics. Um, just to be able to continue the, the draw. Type, um, play. Uh, I have Rat Rat here, which is not the end of the world. Hopefully he misses on Kazakus. That's fine. One fours are not great. <sighs> not exactly a good card. Do it in his hand. That's something that needs to die. Uh, deal one damage to a minion and to its neighbor. Do this. I might be able to target this and hit something better. They're both the lowest health enemy minions. Pretty good. Don't want a Zola a rat? No, I think I'd rather just slum this here. My whole hand is kind of awful. Uh, what do I need to draw here to like have any shot at winning this game? Probably second relic. I have the advantage that I've yet to play any uh, performers, so the like even though I lost some amount of triggers on Sire, it's not that big of a deal. That's fine. My hand is kind of trash here. 
Uh, I guess he could take a Fellfire uh, Deadeye. But at the same time, like, he has Raza in his deck, right? So. Oh, he didn't take the Deadeye. Uh, he, uh, he might have Raza in hand. What? Hold up, what did he take? What did he take? Oh, he took Barista. I guess he can't copy that this turn, which is pretty nice for me. Uh, that's fine. I guess. Oh, I'll take this. This kills both of those for free. Such a bad draw. It would have been so nice to hit like one of five <laughs> like really good draws in my deck. Um, anything that draws me cards, I'm happy with. Even like Artifixer is Xmore. I'm like really, really happy with that draw as just anything. Just anything that I feel would bring me back. In the oh, I have a test for Minion at least. Um, I also kind of have a test for Spell in killing it. <laughs> It's, it's actually really hard for him to pick, right? Because what does he want to counter in my deck? There's, like, nothing that's that big. Uh, not killing this was potentially problematic. Maybe this can hit a better card. Hmm. My me is having plus one attack is pretty nice. Like that's a pretty free trade there. Um I think I'd rather kill that. Even just slightly. Oh man. Second relic of dimensions, let's go. To be fair, the cards I draw off relic of dimensions also are gonna cost like basically zero. Uh I'm at Three, so that means the next one is four, and then five. Oh, that's pretty good. But I need to hit it in order to win from here. Like, my whole hand is nothing. Like, that's the big thing, right? With this deck, the big thing is you go Relic into... Like, you, hero, like you click on this Relic of Dimensions. Get super ahead on board. Not even that great of a card here. I don't even really want to play this here. I just want to have it as... I, mean, uh, I guess this is just as good. Yeah, I feel like that's fine. I mean, if I top deck it here, I'm also really chilling, right? The advantage of top decking it here would be I'd have an additional copy of it to go my next turn. But the whole thing is if I hit decently, um, yeah, if I hit decently, like I have like super cheap fire and expendable performer and brand, like, right, that would be godlike draw. Um, I know it doesn't realistically happen here. I mean, sometimes you just have to go for it, right? Now it's discounted by six. I know now I get significantly less draws, but again. Even Circus Performer Sire down by six each. That's five top deck brand. That's just like lethal. Um, yeah, He has to worry about like killing my board. Unless, does he have lethal? 13 plus 8 is not lethal. It's pretty darn fucking close. Not quite lethal. I get much better trades into his board than he has into mine. To be fair.
That's a really good draw here. Oh, I should have played in the opposite order. That one either. Fourteen, nineteen, nineteen. That's a lot of damage. Um, do I even have anything that lethal? <laughs> I have a feeling I'm just dead. There's so many cards you could have that just kill me. I'm terrified, genuinely, of a top deck Anduin. Really. He actually hit the top deck and doing. Lotha meant it was the only card he had that was an out here. Which is so infuriating. No other card even got close to winning him the game. Oh well. Oh well, shit happens I guess. I can't believe I lost that way. I had like the potential draw of Sire if he didn't hit that. I should have played those in the opposite order. It would have been better to have six sixes and have this cause zero, but again, it doesn't matter when and doing top deck. I mean, must be fucking nice. Dream, he doesn't have a three cost. I don't know. He's just an asshole for BMing. Oh well. We missed on all of our late game, and he stole our Curtis. If we had Curtis, we had won this game. His double Theo actually won him the game. I don't even know how he got the second one. Was it RNG off the raise that? I think it was RNG off raise dead. Oh well. Anyways, uh, we have time for one more game. Hopefully, let's not lose in the same way. Because this game was 1000% winnable. Came down to a top deck and win. And then I couldn't find, you know, any form of health gain when there's a little bit in the deck. Oh, well, let's skip the next one. All right, another priest because apparently that's the only class in this game. I'm gonna keep this because it's actually pretty solid, I guess. Okay, well, those are cards that I like to see. My hair is caught in my headphones, and it's very painful. Um, it's Big Priest, which means this matchup is almost unwinnable. Unless we potentially top deck, like, Relic Vault. I can go Relic Vault now. Yeah, I need to top deck Relic Vault here. That'd be, like, actually insanely good. Ever lucky. It just meant that it was active again after I do this on 2 to do this on 5. If I draw it now, I guess I still play it next turn, but it's so much worse. Only just kind of my shit by two. That's that I don't have just potential pop decks that just... Or t potential draws off of it that just won the game. Um, yeah, these are all kind of trash. No cap. I uh, guess I can play this. I don't know if this needs to have targets. I don't think it does. Um... Which is pretty nice. Hopefully he doesn't have like palm readings or something. It's pretty good that that's his play this turn. I top deck it here. Relic Vault. One time. Nope. I'm going to play this here just because. Dealing two damage to two big mass minions is not going to change shit. Just kind of my draws by three actually has potential to change things. No top deck the the performers plus Bran and then Sire the turn after like that's really insanely good right. He has a really really slow draw which is very very good for us. His health total doesn't matter. He's probably dead in one turn anyways. So yeah, that was fucking awful. This deck is more tailored towards beating um. I've lost this game, by the way. He's in some Shadow Essence this turn. There's no way his draw is this slow and he doesn't have Shadow Essence on curve. Neptune? Uh, even worse than Neptune. 
You can't deal with that. Uh, I guess I just have to go for this. Alright, at least that's one board wipe down. I guess Curtis can do something. Oh, does he know how? I'm assuming he has one res spell. If not, I mean, I guess there's still potential, but I don't have any minions in my hand. I guess Circus Performer is minions for this, but... Oh my god, nothing is going right here. I drew, like, all my removal, and my removal does nothing in this matchup. Like, actually, like, what do any of these cards do in this matchup? It was an 8-8 eight, eight I can't deal with. I'm leading Aura. Uh, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Bad. Did I miss? I miscounted. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I just wasted cards. I don't necessarily think it matters that much, but I'm fairly certain I'm fucked. At least if I can trade this in, I do have six more next turn, which is pretty good. Maybe I can draw Sire off of it. Again, to deal with another one of those. To be fair, maybe I also hit... Uh, uh, I can't even play it if I hit it. Alright, I have to hope for no Neptalon hit. I lose to a Neptalon hit. Okay, thank god. Be straight into that. Leg Volt is a little bit too late, G. Get this game sometimes. Um. So it casts all three relics. Summons me some dudes, as far as I know. Alright, well, that's a thing. <laughs> Zero mana Barista is a hell of a card. Also, uh, he has no res besides Spellstone. And this is lethal on board, right? Um... Does this work how I want it to work? I don't know if this works how I want it to work, but... Menasire is pretty nice. It does not. Okay. Well. Kind of hope you can deal with this board and then play some more guys. Just because I think that would be interesting. And then I do have the kill next turn. Sire. Huh, I thought this game was going to be unwinnable, but then turns out my opponent had just a slow enough draw where my hand, even though it was not perfect, was still, like, winnable. Good. He's really digging for it, huh? This not... This is exact Uh... Uh, I couldn't flex the Sire as well. Or the, uh, Circus Performers as well. 
Shit just died too fast. So how? That's how you beat Big Priest. Just have a godlike fucking draw. Jesus Christ. That draw was insane. <laughs> Actually, filthy draw. Huh. We're positive with Relic Demon Hunter. This deck is actually so much fucking fun to play. I genuinely like playing this deck. And I'm not even gonna lie, this... This was, uh... This was very lucky. Um... There, there's no easy way for me to say it besides that... I got really fucking lucky in that game. Um... Everything went perfectly, basically. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, with all that being said... I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day. And uh, yeah, there was a... Um, actually, no, I'll save that for tomorrow's video. Anyways, though, with all that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.